Hey bakers, it's Margaret with Desserts on Delicious. And let me tell you how I made these stencils in Cricut. So here are all of the stencils that I made in Cricut for my client. And I definitely tried to come very close to um, their logo, which is the first thing that you're gonna see me decorating. But all of these stencils I made in Cricut for uh, their company. They have a coding company, and so they wanted um, computer-themed cookies along with their logo. So I'm going to start off here by rolling out my fondant. Get that nice and smooth. Now here's the first stencil, which looks very close to uh, their logo, and I'm going to place that down. And I actually placed a little bit of shortening onto the fondant and I'm rolling the stencil over the fondant to keep it secure. And then I'm gonna come in with um, my Walmart cookie icing. And I spread that out on the cookie. And now, as you can see, I'm lifting up the stencil. And um, now I've cut out uh, my design and I'm gonna come in and make a um like power button sign again i'm trying to recreate their logo using the stencil that i created in cricut and the um, black icing that i purchased from walmart and i also had some white icing that i purchased from walmart that i colored green so this is going to help me to make the power button that again is going to match their logo When things don't come out exactly, I like to come back in and fill in any areas, um, spreading it out with a toothpick, which is what you see me doing here. Okay, and it's looking very good. I really like this, how it's coming out. All right, great. Oftentimes, what you'll find with some cookies that they do spread. And as you can see here, things are not quite even. So I'm going to come in with my little um, zester or grater, and I'm going to smooth out those edges so they're nice and straight. And I just go around the cookie wherever I see um, that is uh, a little further out than the fondant piece that I placed on top. I'm just going to smooth that down with the grater. And I do this for all of the cookies and it looks great. Next up, we're gonna bag our cookies and the cellophane bag I have in my Amazon storefront. I purchased them from Walmart and all of my cookies, I like to keep around three inches uh, around so that the cookies fit nicely inside the bag. And this again is one of the tricks with the grater because if your cookies are not smooth on the edges, it could prevent it from sliding into the bag because this is, a, I think, a four inch by six inch bag. So um, there you have it. And the last thing that I'm gonna do, I made these stickers here in Cricut um, for my client. They wanted their logo on the cookies. Um, so I'm adding on these stickers to all of the cookies that I made for them. And so I'm just easily removing the back and then just attaching it on the front of the cookie, therefore still allowing you to see the design. And here are all my cookies packed up and ready to go. If you like this content, like and follow.